Homeland Security prepares to purge itself of non-DNC compliant employees. And this is from our Top Stories report, and that Top Stories report was titled Homeland Security to Purge Non-DNC from Department Using Extremism Investigation as Cover. And I'm calling this video, Being Non-DNC Orthodox Will Get You Fired If You Work for the Department of Homeland Security. You know, this is, I remember when the Iraq War was starting, well, before the Iraq War was starting, I was a, I was a lot younger then. And I was much more interested in the adventure than in the justice. I didn't really care about the Iraqis as people. I didn't really care much about people outside of America, uh, even though in, uh, intellectually, ideationally, I did. But in, in terms of, of, of how I actually live my life, I, I really didn't. So I, it was easy for me to look at human beings who might make a plea for us not to murder Iraqis as being extremist, as being terrorist. And to use those words, extremist, to use those words, terrorist, especially when the government was using those words and they were targeting people that I didn't like, that, that were threatening, that perceptively, not accurately maybe, but perceptively were threatening me. So I was all on board with the creation of the Department of Homeland Security. I was all on board with the Patriot Act. I was all on board with all of these uh, methodologies of seeking to turn Americans against Americans because they had beliefs and values that we didn't share, that weren't orthodox. This was conservative orthodoxy, if you will, as opposed to woke orthodoxy or DNC. It's really DNC orthodoxy because there is very, just like wokeness is a de facto religion that has multiple denominations, almost all of them are fully in bed with the DNC very coercive version of wokeness not all of them are but <coughs> but but in essence most of them are and so the 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 new orthodoxy is no longer conservative orthodoxy it's it's dnc woke orthodoxy and so now anybody that falls outside of that orthodoxy is going to be called extremist terrorist seditionist whatever list that you can come up with that will diminish a human's capacity to dare speak out against the authority that is and to that end, the Department of Homeland Security, this, uh, par partly the Supreme, you know, representing the supreme law of the land, is seeking to utilize these vehicles of power. That, uh, when I think of, for me, vehicles of power are any, any beliefs, any habits that individuals can enter into with the hope of expanding their, their personal power, which for me is what I call apex existentiality. When, when they enter into these words like extremist and terrorist, they're adopting an ideological belief system that allows the state to define the orthodox at levels that go far beyond what the Bill of Rights parameters would allow the state to do. And I fell for it, and it was about maybe about 2011, 2012, I began to shift away from that, and now I'm to the point where I've rejected all of the factionals that dominate this land. But before I did, I was certainly one of the enablers. And if you are one of the DNC acolytes and you imagine that the Homeland Security is doing anything but purging its, its, its department of, of the, of the non-DNC, you're a fool. This isn't about protecting the United States of America from domestic threats from within or from racism or bigotry or anything like that. Those are just... Not that racism isn't real. Not that bigotry isn't real. Not that some people, even on the right, are actually quote-unquote seditionist, would actually seek to overthrow the government with violence and for reasons that don't have to do with the, a direct violation of the Bill of Rights. Uh, but most of them are not. Most of them are just people. If, if, if you believe that abortion is wrong, that's outside the orthodoxy. Homeland Security will be able to target you. They'll be able to use... If, if you believe uh, that uh, we should have walls, that we should have walls protecting our borders from being overrun by human beings coming from abroad, well, that will put you in that category. So we, we accepted the power of the government to define extremist and define terrorist and then allow human beings to lose their Bill of Rights that fell into these categories when it was on our side when, and I was an hour then, the conservative side. But when now 
that you see that the government is no longer in the hands of the conservative orthodox. Now they're in the hands of the woke orthodox. You see how those weapons of war can be turned so easily against you, and, and that's what's happening here. So from abcnews.com, they said, Homeland Security launches review of extremism within the agency. The Department of Homeland Security on Monday announced an internal review to assess the threat of violent extremism from within the ex agency. Part of a broader administration focus on domestic threats following the January 6th insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. I saw some video, I forget who it was, Jack somebody or other. I didn't watch the video, but I saw the title. And it was a very excellent title. I should watch the video because the, the title really intrigued me. And it was that uh, this was the new 9-11. And this is exactly it. January 6th is the new 9-11 for the woke. It's what the, the, the DNC woke. It's what they're going to use to convince we the poors, we the powerless, to, to hand over more of our powers with the hope that somehow the people who caused the problems in the first place will somehow end the problem. And that... That never works out. I guess I'm going to end it there.